Hi there, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this very cute Japanese ramen shop with some very nice details like bowls of ramen and chopsticks on the table and some cute lightings and environment settings uh, in, the, in the low poly style. I hope you enjoy. In the upcoming weeks, I am going to do more of these tutorials with commentary added, mostly just because I am very lazy and I really hate adding in the subtitles. And I don't think they help as much as me actually um, explaining what's going on to you guys in the tutorial. So I'm going to do more of that in the future. So if you like that and if you like my videos before, uh, please, uh, it'd be very nice if, if you can leave a like and leave some comments on this video and subscribe to um, two tutorials per week. So here, as you can see, I'm using a reference photo uh, to help me construct the idea uh, and construct the exterior of the ramen shop. To be very honest, I was not sure how I'm going to make the roof of this thing until I looked at quite a few reference photos and I realized that huh, uh, they kind of look like this metal crate sort of thing uh, at the very top. So I just made this and I hope it looks nice. I think in low poly style art, it is very important to to cater to the every single little details um, in your in your geometries because uh, they could be very simple geometries and they can be very simple to make, but it's usually these little cuts, little details, uh, little distortions in them that make them look more realistic and more believable. I had lots of fun making this little lantern. I think um, I probably could have shortened it a little bit more to make it a little bit fatter. That's, that's probably the style I was going for, but this was good enough to be honest. And I learned how to make wooden plank from Grant Arbit's video and they are immensely useful. I used this technique to make realistic wood panel since day one and uh, I've used them in so many of my work. They always look so good. I have to admit that I still need to practice on it but they look usually pretty good in most of my work.
I think giving、um, giving my objects color is the most exciting part ever. I love giving them color the first time and then looking them in render view. It's just so exciting. And here I'm making these little I don't know how you call them. Is it drapes? Maybe. Yeah.、Um, I basically created、uh, some kind of.、Um, Cleaves on it, and then I shade it smooth so it looks like a flowy cloth. And since we added、uh, a little sort of part of the road into the scene as well, and this is a ramen shop right by the street, I figured why not add something on the road as well to kind of、um, make it more detailed and interesting. And that's why I decided to model a little、um, bicycle into the scene. And as I've always said, your best friend is always a reference photo. And if you can get a reference photo like this from a, a side. Profile that would be perfect because、uh, it gives you sort of, especially for something like a bike,、um, it doesn't have too much dimension. To be honest, it, all the details are kind of from、uh, you can see from the side. Then a, a reference photo like this is always your best friend. At At this point, I was making this little basket on the bicycle, and、uh, um, I couldn't really figure out how to give it. As you can see from the reference photo, it's quite rough. It's kind of like a woven texture,、uh, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I haven't done that yet. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. But I'm going to、um, do that step in、uh, the later part of the video. And you also can see. A ra giant ramen bowl over there. I am very sorry. I accidentally lost、uh, my my clip of me making the ramen. So you're actually not going to see how I made the ramen. But if you are really interested in that, I can make another video about this.、Um, but it shouldn't really matter too much in this scene because、um, the ramen bowls are quite small, so you can't really see、um, what's inside in detail. So it's not a huge problem, I would say. I just love how tiny and how detailed this bike is looking. It's it's great. Here I'm making some、uh, dent in the in the in the on the floor、uh, by subdividing the surface and adding a little、uh, bit of transparent water into it. And they are very reflective, so when the lights shine on them, it's going to look very realistic and very nice, like a rain puddle. So in detailed、uh, low poly scene like this, it's very important to not forget about your background. So here you can see that even though we can't really see much of what's going on in the back of the kitchen, it is still very important to fill it up with、uh, interesting and realistic gadgets and objects that are going to make your scene seem、uh, more realistic. So now here I am making this little、uh, chopstick holder. Well, it's not holder. Sorry, it's a container sort of thing. And rearranging the chopsticks to make them look more realistic. Again, I can't remember how many times I've said that word in this entire video.
it's time to add some lights into the scene. So what I did with the lantern is that I created another object within the lantern itself and give it an emission setting. So as you can see here, it looks very nice orangey lights coming out from the lantern. And the material used for the lantern is kind of half transparent. There's, um, the transmission rate is 0 0.5, so the light can go through it and it give a very nice uh, realistic lantern feeling. At this point, I decided to add a little bit more details into the scene. And uh, this is, as you see, in is some sort of um, water pipe going around the crate roof that I created because I think uh, the crate roof was looking a little bit dull at this point. So I'm just making these rough uh, water pipes. I use the sphere uh, and give it to give it again an emission value because I think that imitates a beautiful moon upon the street the best. So that's the sort of lighting that I went with in this particular scene. You can also use um, uh, aerial light or sunlight in this case, but I think they might be a bit too strong. So I preferred something slightly gentle in this case. But I did give it sort of uh, some area light in the back as a backlighting. And here I am making a cube uh, because I want to give it some emission. Sorry, not emission. I want to make it into a foggy texture. And you can see how I did that in the clip here. And last but not least, as promised, I'm going to make this uh, basket a little bit rougher. So it looks more realistic again. And last but not least, I decided the basket on bicycle was looking a little bit lonely there. There should be something inside. It's again a, an opportunity for you to add a little bit more details into the scene. So what I decided is to create some sort of, um, basically add a little bit of green into the scene and uh, make this little plant uh, that I have no idea what it is. It's just random and um, into the basket. Alright, that's it guys, that's the scene, I really hope you like it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for 2 tutorials a week. Thank you for watching!